The next feature that I'm going to be talking about here is also related to personalization. One of the most uh, frequently asked for features from many of our users is to add additional context into the agent when they're using our web chat. So when you put a web chat on your web page, sometimes you have additional context that you would love to share with the agent in order for it to personalize the experience without the user having to actually do that in the conversation itself. And so here's an example of that at work. It's never been easier to create really personalized AI agents based off additional context that can be passed to the agent when they're interacting with the web chat. So I'm currently on the Fenty Beauty website and I've gone ahead and added the VoiceFlow web chat snippet. I'm also logged in to the Fenty Beauty website, which is important because that means it has some information about me already because I've logged in. It should have my name and whether I'm a VIP customer. So I want to use that information in making the experience itself when I open up this web chat unique to me. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so it's introducing itself. It's brought me back by name, and it's also given me some actions that are available to me as a VIP member. So how is this done? Well, it's not hard coded in the design, if that's what you're thinking. It's actually all contained within the snippet itself. So here, I'm just moving over my developer tools. Hopefully this isn't intimidating, but you can see here in the snippet that I've added to the page, there is this new custom payload, which I've added that includes a name and whether the user is VIP or not. So it's obviously my name here and the VIP is set to true. Now in production, this is obviously not going to be hard-coded values. These are gonna be dynamically generated by what you have available to you. But now this information is getting passed over to the design, which I'll navigate to now. And setting all this up is actually very easy. So all you need to do is have a JavaScript step at the beginning of your design, which is taking the event payload, and it is assigning the variables that you've named in that payload to variables within your project. So I have a name variable and a VIP variable in my project, and now it's getting assigned the name and the status of that to um, the project. So here in the initial step, I'm welcoming back the user by their first name. And then I'm also doing a condition step here, which is checking if they're a VIP customer or not. And if they are, they get the below options. And if they're not, I'm going to ask them if they should consider joining the VIP program. So very simple, very easy, but excited what this new tool can unlock for our users as you build these personalized, amazing agents for your business. Thank you.